Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm gonna talk about some cool tip that you should know about Unreal Engine 5. So without any further ado, let's begin. Just know this before we start this, we have a Unreal Engine 5 beginner, we have Unreal Engine 5 beginner blueprint that we did talk about blueprint, all the basic stuff and advanced stuff in this Unreal Engine 5 beginner blueprint playlist. And after that there are some Unreal Engine 5 tips and tricks for Unreal Engine that you can watch and I did show you a lot of cool things in there and you can see we want to use all of those knowledge and I want to show you some other cool tips for Unreal Engine 5 so let's begin first thing let's just create a blueprint class and in one of my video I did explain everything about blueprint classes so for that I want to create our new blueprint class in this my classes folder so right click blueprint classes and here I want to create a actor blueprint class I want to call it BP and you know it from my videos the convention naming is like this BP for blueprint and whenever you want to create a blueprint class at the beginning of that name you say BP and here for example I want to create a platform okay uh, something like elevator right double click on it to, to open it and you can see it's open in the new window and let's just drag this BP black platform and put it in here so we have our game in here or simple game in here and we have our new class that we create so in here let's say for example we want to create a platform how we can do it you know it from my videos about beginner blueprint and blueprint classes we can click on this add and create whatever we want for example in here we want to create a cube for example okay and no i want to change the scale of this cube so because i want to create a platform i don't want it to be large so i want to change it like this okay and we can do it like this in here as well so this is more like a platform right so you can see uh, our camera is set as four two is enough i think for this and this is our platform for example okay you can of course add a 3d object for your platform from pixel and i did show you how you can do that and in this video i don't want a complex stuff okay so know that we have our platform in here let's just go to event graph in here and you know it from my blueprint class video that it has event begin play and event actor begin overlap and event tick okay let's just delete all of them we don't need any of them why because i want to show you some cool tips with timeline okay uh, i have two videos on timeline that i did explain everything about timelines in blueprint in Unreal engine 5 please watch them in here just right click go down and in here add a timeline in here i want to call it tl platform for example tl for timeline and the platform that we know what what this is okay i did talk about timelines a lot in my videos i have two videos about timeline please just watch them if you double click on this in here i will explain some of them in here for you first of all we need to set what value we want to animate what track we want okay in this case i want float value what of course you want you can use vector you can use event track you can use color track as well but in this case because i want to show you some tips about creating this elevator or platform i want to use float now we have our new tracks in here so let's just right click on it and rename it in here for rename it to new position for example now that we have this track uh, the length of this track i want it to be eight for example i want to use last keyframe and we did talk about it a lot uh, we i want to check this out play because i don't want to connect anything to this timeline to run it when you check this auto play it will run by itself okay and we want to loop it as well because our platform want to go up down up down and along the way i will show you some cool tips and tricks okay so now that we have uh, we set all of this stuff in here hold shift in here and uh, and with left click create keyframe in here first of all we need to be at time zero to be at value zero okay just remember after you set a value you should hit enter to uh, put that value let's just create another keyframe in here for example at and i want it at time four to be at position one for example okay and hit enter and now it's off screen so let's just uh, zoom to fit horizontal and zoom to fit vertical and you can see it's no zoom so 
Now that we have this, let's just create another keyframe by holding shift and left click on our tracking here. And at the time eight, we want the value to be at zero again. So our platform will go up and down, up, down, and it will loop itself because we check this loop and we check this auto play. Okay. So now let's just zoom to fit horizontal and zoom to fit vertical. You see, it it doesn't work like it should, but you can with um, a scrolling middle mouse you can zoom it, and with right click you can move it around, and you can see uh, from time zero it's zero and it's increasing to the one to value one after four seconds and after that it decreased but you can see the speed of this platform is constant but we want to have a curve track okay so how we can do that for example you want to curve this track okay so just right click on this keyframe and set it to auto okay and you can see it curved out okay you can see it and again right click on this keyframe as well set it to auto and you can see it create a, a smooth curve for us it will look beautiful why i choose one for our new position after four seconds that's where where i want to show you the tips now we have this track okay and if we go to our event graph in our blueprint class you can see the new position is here okay so now i want to set the position of this platform in here so how we can do that we can just drag and drop from this update execution pin and say set relative location okay what is the difference between set actor location and set actor relative location because in here we have a default scene route that we want our platform or our cube in this case to be at that position from default and from that default position it will increase its z value or x value or y value okay so let's just do that location okay and what we want is the set relative location, set actor relative location. And let me find it. Of course, we could search for it. Set relative location, right? So with this set relative location, you can see that in parentheses it says, do you want to set the relative location for cube or default scene root? Of course, because the platform is our cube, we should choose the cube, okay? So what it does, it will add this set relative location and connect our cube to the top target okay okay and we could do it ourselves but it will do it for us okay so what we need we need to set relative location for this queue relative to the default scene root okay the first tip that i want to show you is this okay there is a node that is very much important and that's called lerp okay this lerp is too much important for you to understand in a lot of your game you will use this lerp nodes it's very much important and in this video i will explain it what it is and in future videos i will explain it with more example so you clearly know what it does okay first of all there are a a b and alpha input in here okay so what they are let's say for example we put one in here and we put 100 in here okay for a it's one and for b it will be 100 for example okay and for the alpha if we use 0.5 for example what it's happened it will give us 50 in return value okay if this alpha is for example 0.6 it, in return value it give us 60 okay and for example if you put 0.1 in here it will give us 10 in return value okay so this alpha is the percentage value of the value between a and b okay and you get the idea how it works in this case because we need a location to set for this set relative location we can't use this float so how we can do it if you again right click and search for lerp you will see that there is a lerp function for vector and the location is a vector so we can use this lerp vector in here and you can see it has a alpha that is between zero and one and we have a vector a and vector b okay so now let's just connect this alpha to this new position that we had in our timeline that is a start from zero to um, one after four seconds and it will decrease to zero again and it will loop itself okay so for the a i want to just put it at zero 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 why because we are setting the relative location to the default scene root so wherever we put this blueprint class uh, the relative location of this cube to the default scene root the default is zero 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 okay 
we want to set the b to be the target location that we want to go that we want our platform to go there and go back okay so second tip that i want to show you is in here if you right click in here and promote this b to variable okay let's just name it first to show you something i want to name it target location okay so we name it target location where we want to this platform go from where we put it to that location and go back and go there and go back okay so the tips in here if you click on this variable and go in here you can make it instance editable of course we did talk about instance editable in my video about blueprint classes and you can watch that but there is something new in here because this variable is a vector it has show widget show 3d widget option in it so if you check this in a minute i will show you why make this variable instance editable and show 3d widget what what is cool about it so before we do that let's just connect this return value to our new location in here and now we have everything set up let's just save and compile in here and if we go to our game now and add this platform to here for example you can see that there is diamond shape in here okay if we click in here there is a target location because we set this target location variable in our blueprint class to be instance editable right so we have it here let's just change the z value okay and you can see there is a diamond shape in here okay so wherever you put this diamond shape by just dragging this diamond shape it will be our new position that should our platform go there and go back and this is the important tips of this video so let's just play it to see if it's working or not and you can see after four seconds it go where we want and it will go back to that default place that we set it okay so let's just again go to our game in here and change this um, target location to a new value so let's just put it here and after that just select this class and change uh, its location as well and you can see because this target location is the child of this uh, BP platform class it will change its position according to that okay so we put it in here wherever we want we can put it and with this diamond shape we can change what where is the target location that this platform should go go there and go back okay so let's just again save and play our game and you can see it now go to that location and it will come back to default location that we put it and it's most usable thing that you can do in Arial engine 5 that was it for this video please if you like this video hit that like button so i know that i should create more of this stuff for you thank you very much for watching bye